Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, 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 reading Proverbs. Yeah, I've been reading Proverbs. I've been trying to read one chapter, um, like in, you know, I'm in Chronicles right now, and then read one Psalm and one Proverb, you know, and just think about it. And, or one chapter of, one, one whole Psalm and one whole chapter of Proverbs. Um, that's like my little routine right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. And, uh, Psalms and Proverbs, I mean, you could read those every day for the rest of your life and, and always get something out of them. But there's this scripture right here that I was meditating on and, and someone else had quoted it to me and I didn't really get it, you know, but I just want to share this proverb and, and explain what it means proverbs 14 4 says where no oxen are the crib is clean but much increase is by the strength of the ox and what it's saying is where there are no oxen the the barn the crib the 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 place is clean but there's much increase and actually that word also means like profit or revenue by the strength of the ox and and what this proverb is saying like look you know if you don't have any oxen or if you don't if you're not um you know it, life is easier when you're not doing business okay and 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 doing something that's actually trying to increase or or bring yourself revenue or bring yourself um uh, an income it's it's much easier to just uh to not go beyond your means and to like like um you know purchase things to create a business to create revenue you know a lot of times when you when you start a business you buy things and and tools and and employees and and all these different things you know there's so many different ways i'm just speaking on in super general right now but whatever it is that you do um when you seek to work for yourself um there's it's it's messy okay it's a messy deal you know but but there's a lot of uh, opportunity for revenue and and even increased revenue whenever you get get out there and 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 increase your assets you know what I mean and, and whatever it is for for this example uh, you know back then it was like hey you know oxen was like if you had a yoga oxen you you were able to work in so many different ways you know with you could have a business you know, doing many different things with the oxen, plowing, um, you know, what I don't know what oxen did, but 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 there was a lot of work that they used oxen for. I don't know because we're spoiled and we never had to have an oxen do anything for us. But we got machines now, right? But all the things that we have machines for now, they had oxen do back then. So. But just imagine, you know, nowadays, you know, like my garage right now, it's a disaster. It's cluttered. There's a ton of, you know, just tools everywhere. And, but all those tools bring me more money. Okay. So I hope I did not, uh, you know, chop that up, but where... Where there are no tools, where there are no oxen, where there are no assets, you know, everything's clean and there's no chaos and it's, and it's simple, but, um, but you're very limited on how much money you can make and you might just be broke, right? You might just be lazy. You could have an extremely clean place, but then you could lose it because you're not making any money. Okay. So, so that being said. Apply this proverb to your life. Increase your income by increasing your assets and things that you can use and utilize to increase your income. Amen.